Hey everybody, it's Big John back again. Well, I went and did it. I broke the tip of my Leatherman. I was uh, trying to fix a blowgun at work. Uh, get the tip in there. Kind of open up the end of the blowgun a little bit. And it just snapped right off. Now we're going to take it to the post office. I got this form printed off of their website. We're going to take it in and send it back to Leatherman and see what they'll do to fix it. Check their warranty service out. I've dealt with Snap-on's warranty service. I've dealt with SK Tools and their warranty service and they both were excellent. So we'll de we'll see about Leatherman's. I also not as big a deal and I don't know if it'll focus in right there. But the tip of the flat side of my precision screwdriver is a little bit chewed up. That's why I had it out so I could show you. And then if I close it up, the main knife blade, the tip on it did kind of chip off on me right at the tip, right on the tip, kind of, but not a whole lot of it. And I kind of reprofiled and sharpened on it and did a little work and it's not that bad not, not bad at all i wasn't so worried about it and uh but we'll see if they notice it and do anything about it those two things we'll just see how well they look it over see if they put a new uh bit in that precision screwdriver or see if they do anything about that knife blade like i said i i did some reprofile work on it and you can't really even tell that the tip broke off of it anymore. But it was, I was <clears throat> prying a stuck shell casing out of a 22 rifle. And I just pulled this out and went to pop it out real quick and just chipped the tip right off. But, I said a little little reprofiling you can't tell so I don't know if they'll see it or not but I'm gonna I'll get back with you let you know when I get this back in the mail and right now I'm gonna pause the video and when I get back from the post office we might talk some beer